Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to calculate the water tank size, water storage tank capacity for the buildings okay, as per the water requirements. So before we start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so basically what is water tank here a water tank is a large container used to store the water water tanks are used for variety purpose of the including so it is like a container where we can store the water for domestic uses purpose or flushing uses purpose okay and Purpose are providing the water for drinking, cooking, bathing and flushing and gardening. Then also we can use this uh, storage tank for, for irrigation, then for fire protection. This is for fire fighting system. There, there are tanks which is basically fire tank which is used in fire fighting, fire fighting system where we have a pumps like jockey pump, main electrical pump, main diesel pump, then hydrant jockey pump, hydrant main pumps. So these are in fire fighting system where we can use fire tanks where we have a storage of the water. Then even we use this as a hydroelectric power and store it somewhere and then it to. So this is in hydro power. Plant. So generally for building it is used for drinking, cooking, bathing, flushing and even we can say irrigation and fire fighting system. Okay. So if you talk about its material. So it is made up of concrete, steel, fiberglass and plastics. So this is the we can say RCC concrete. Okay. Then steel. So these all are storage tank. So steel. Even this is also overhead tank then plastics then frp so this type of material basically tanks are made now let's move to the types of the water tanks so there are four types of water tanks so these are underground tank then above ground tank then partially ground tank then overhead tank so these are the types of the tank water storage tank in general layout if you look into the buildings or any like residential apartment or any commercial apart commercial building so uh, there will be a water source which would be bore well boring we can say or any tanker water supplier or any provider where we can get the water then what we have to do we have to store the water so basically these are the raw water so it's a raw water tank we have to make then we have a fire tank then after so we can not feed the directly this water to the buildings towards the plumbing fixer where we can use like a drinking bathing so what we have to do we have to so suppose this is the raw tank raw water tank then we have to treat this water so we have to use WTP water treatment plant okay then after treated it we can feed it to the treated tank actually treated tank treated tank treated water tank and from here we can distribute the water through the hydro pneumatic pump towards the plumbing fixer and over a above the building generally we have a two two tanks one is domestic overhead tank one is flushing tank which we will use for only fluffs, flushing purpose in WC then other is overhead fire tank as well so these two will use in case of pump failure in underground okay so these are the types of the tanks now let's discuss one by one so here in underground tank so these are buried below the underground means in the basement of the building okay so suppose this is building and below it we have a basement so this is the underground tank 
which is below the ground floor then so this is the underground tank actually generally for the buildings if you look into the hotels or other buildings the tanks are in underground like basement 2 or basement 1 so this is the tank as you can see where we have a rungs we can say ladder then we have a this is the overflow then water filling line and below it we have a drain okay so this is the underground tank generally this type of the tank used in the commercial building or residential building and another is above ground tank so this is here name as suggested at ground floor above it we can create the tank so this is above ground tank so this is the actually ground tank here we can see then another is partially ground tank so it is like this half of it is at ground floor and half of it is buried there like this okay so here you can see this is the partially ground tank then overhead tank name as only so it is suggested like overhead tank so this tank like over here it will be top of the, the building so this is a top of the building and from here actually water will supply through the gravity towards the plumbing fixtures okay this is the also overhead tanks through this water will supply to the community's buildings so this is also overhead tanks this is made up of plastic and this is also rcc overhead tank now let's calculate the water tank storage capacity basically how much capacity of tank will require so this will calculate it as for the water demand calculation so in previous video we have already calculated the actually how much water required for domestic use and for flushing use and in total also we calculated so generally uh, this is thumb rule we can say for underground tank we we usually what we have to do generally we store we have to uh, size the capacity of the tank for 1.5 days storage of the total water required and overhead tank 0.5 days of total water requirement in case we don't have an overhead tank if you have a structure like this where we cannot place the overhead tanks in that case we have to go to under underground tank then what we have to do then we have to make the tanks for two days storage so it will be two days storage of total water requirement per day okay and for flushing tank flushing over tank it will be 0 0.5 days of flushing water requirement so generally we consider the water storage water tank of the building minimum for two days so here we are going to calculate the water storage tank capacity without stp and with stp so basically what is stp so stp is sewage treatment plant so basically we don't have a stp that means all water are going to all wastage or drain out water going to discharge towards the municipal drainage so we will not use any waste water towards our building so in this case what we have to do we don't consider the flushing water so here in previous video we have already calculated basically water demand calculation so suppose here we have a total domestic water supply 130.125 kl per day similarly for flushing water per day 104.1 kl and total is sum of this 234.225 so in this case what happened without stp means we will not separate made a tank for this flushing tank because we don't have a stp so we will not use the treatment water stp treatment water for further that's why we don't need any additional tank so we need only a storage tank so one would be underground and one would be 
overhead tank so basically what happened why we kept this overhead tank so this will uh, use in case of emergency suppose in basement we are supplying through the plumbing fixer through the pumps which means in pressure system in case of pump failure overhead tank can give the water supply through the gravity towards the plumbing fixer till the 0 0.055 days that's why we always make underground and overhead tank so here underground capacity is 1.5 days of total water requirement so 1.5 days 1.5 days of total water requirement so total re water requirement is this much so 234.225 so it will become 351.55 kl so this is the capacity of underground so we have to make we have to make the underground tank with this capacity 351 kiloliter then overhead tank capacity 0 0.5 days of total water requirements so 0 0.5 of total total water requirements so it is 117 kl in case we don't have a overhead tank suppose we have a building like this where we have a difficulty to make the overhead tanks then what we have to do we have to consider one tank so in that case in that case so two days of total water requirement we have to take the capacity of underground tank 2 into 234.225 so generally till 468 kl capacity of tank have to make okay so so this will in case of without stp now next here we will calculate the water storage tank capacity with stp so with stp means we are going to use the waste water all waste water so here we have a sewage treatment plant it will treat the waste water and again it will store to the flushing tank where this water will use for flushing purpose and gardening purpose in the buildings so here this is the again our water requirement so here we have to consider the flushing water tank as well because here we have a stp so underground tank capacity is 1.5 days storage of total domestic water requirement so this is the domestic water basically used for water distribution for drinking even bathing and washing purpose so this is domestic and the flushing for only flushing the toilets means wc and then the gardening purpose so underground capacity we can say domestic underground capacity underground domestic underground tank capacity is 1.5 days so 1.5 days of total domestic water so how much total domestic water this much 130.125 so it will become 195 kl so this much of uh, underground capacity we have to make this is the domestic actually on un domestic underground tank again we have to overhead so overhead domestic water tank we have to make so this is generally for 0 0.5 days of storage of total domestic water requirement so 0 0.5 into 130.125 so it will become 65 kl so this is the capacity of overhead tank we have to make this is domestic overhead tank then flushing overhead tank generally we put the flushing tank over the top of the building so through this really supply by gravity towards the flushing line cisterns so flushing water overhead tank generally it is also used for 0 0.5 days storage of the total flushing water requirement so 0 0.5 of flushing water requirement is 104.1 it will 52 kl so we have to make the flushing water tank 2 kl of capacity in case of no overhead tank suppose we don't have an overhead tank for this domestic water so what we have to do so again 2 into total domestic of water 130.12 260 kl so this is underground tank even we don't have a structure like we cannot place the even 
flushing tank over the building we can make it in underground as well for this flushing water tank this is our capacity and we can distribute this water through the booster pump towards the plumbing fixture and gardening purpose so hope you guys understand about basically uh, what is water tank and what are the types of the water tanks and how to calculate the water storage tank capacity with stp and without stp so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video